Hey everyone, welcome to Mornings with Molly. I'm super excited about today's show because we're talking about something that is near and dear to me, color. Okay, I know so many of you out there are so into black and white. Well, it's time to get rid of that and bring in the yellows and the oranges. As a matter of fact, we're going to make your house look like this by the end of our show. You don't need to take vacation to have some spice in your life. So stick with us. We'll be right back. Hey, mommies. Welcome back. Okay, so you guys know I'm not a hardcore cook, but today I'm going to talk to you about making homemade baby food. I know, I know, it sounds daunting, but it's so simple. And by the way, if you're buying this Earth's Best Organic, you need to read the label because there's a ton of sugar in this. So we're going to say goodbye to so-called healthy baby food and make our own. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mornings with Molly. Okay, you know how much I love my vessels. Well, what better time to bring them out than springtime? Now, one thing I love to do, other than just going to my supermarket or a florist and buying fresh flowers, is bringing the outdoors in with natural plants that are natural to the habitat. And where I go to get mine is just my local flower market. No matter where you live, I'm sure you have a farmer's market or a place like that where you can go and buy these, or Home Depot even sells them. I got these for a dollar a piece. These are great little fillers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a centerpiece for my island. I'm going to use this vessel. And one important tip is if you're going to put plants that have moisture, because after you water them, you're going to put them back in the vessel, you want to line it with plastic. Just use a plastic trash bag, staple it along on the inside of the vessel, and then we can get started. Now another key thing you need, I like to keep them in a vase, isn't that attractive, are my garbage bags or my grocery bags, which I also use as garbage bags and I also use them when I take my dog for a walk. So I put them in my vessel and this is what this is going to do is it's going to give me some filler because I like to have height. I like to put my plants in at different heights. Now one thing that I often use when I'm doing flower arranging are orchids because I think orchids are so simple and so beautiful and this one only cost me $12. You know how much I love a bargain. Okay, so I'm sticking these in. And now you want to have a focal point. I always like to build around a focal point. So today what I'm going to use is this beautiful, I call this a four in one because there's four different plants in this one container. But what I love the most is this beautiful variegated leaf. Look at that with the yellow spots. And then this is gorgeous. Look at the green stripes. This just brings in so many different shades of green and different textures. And it's all about variation when you're doing this. So I'm going to put this in the middle so it gives me kind of a nice base and I'm just going to build around it. I'm going to bring in some of these other little plants. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. This has kind of become second nature to me because I love it and it's so simple. Really, anyone can do it. Okay, so I'm going to put this in, shove it in here and you might wonder, well, how's all that stuff staying in place? Well, I'm going to jam so many in there they're not going to be able to move, trust me. I'm going to turn it over onto the side. Here's another beautiful variegated leaf. Variegated means that it has multiple colors. Okay, now we're going to twist it around to the back because what has a front also has a back. And you have to think about people looking at it from the back side. We'll put a, in another orchid here. And we're almost done. We need one more plant here on the side to anchor it. Bring in this beautiful leafy plant. Ah, just so gorgeous. I love it. You just put it on the center of your island. How stunning is that? Hey everybody, okay, I love today's crafts because you can do so many things with it. I've always wanted to work with these little stencils and do things like, you know, decorate a beautiful white plate or make you know, handmade thank you notes or gift bags. So we're gonna see what we can do with these little stencils. My daughter loves butterflies. And earlier what I did is I took one of my brushes and I painted this box blue. So they all started out this natural wood color and I painted it blue. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little butterfly stencil on it. You know, this is like very therapeutic. It's almost like meditation. It's craftation. <laughs> 